It is very stressful when you work and you have two kids that going to school. Continuing coverage tonight on taxi drivers struggling to make ends meet thanks to unlicensed cabs. They claim some are paying off hotel workers to get priority fares. These drivers are begging for help from the Tennessee Licensing Commission. Fox 17 News Caitlin Miller joining us live downtown after speaking with drivers and questioning hotel workers. Caitlin. The taxi driver that we spoke with has been driving in downtown Nashville for over a decade now. He says a lot of his business came from the hotels downtown, but now he says most taxis aren't even allowed near the hotels downtown. Solomon Tadala says these private black SUVs lined up at or near most of the downtown hotels are taking away his business and impacting his livelihood. He used to take care of my kids. I have college kids. And now I cannot afford it anymore, so I have to look for something else, an extra job. Tadala says it started with unlicensed drivers during the pandemic. And now he says some workers at the major hotels are not allowing taxi drivers to park near their property or pick up customers. Tadala shows us video from a recent incident with one of their drivers at a downtown hotel. Customer called our driver. He was supposed to be picking him up, but he telling him you are not welcome here, so you need to be moved. Tadala explains private drivers are paying valet workers to park their vehicles there, pushing taxis out of the mix. Have you made the TLC aware of this? Yes. And what was their response? Their response is they don't have any role to tackle these pe people. And even the, the valid people, they are not authorized to do that. Fox 17 News then reached out to the Transportation Licensing Commission to see if they're aware of this issue and to see if they have any sort of regulation or rights over this. But we have not heard back yet. The city is becoming careless. Patadala emphasizes the city needs to step up before it kills the taxi industry completely. Nash Vegas cab says that they really need Metro Police, the city and the TLC to work together to tackle this issue. But they say for now they're not getting the response that they need. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Caitlin Miller, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.